Aloha, my internet family. How are you? Welcome back to Practical Printing, and welcome to part nine of our Moai series. If you're not familiar with the Moai SLA printer, I have a link to the PO Poly website down below in the description. If you haven't been following along with the series, I strongly suggest you pause here and go back and at least scan those so you're familiar with the process of getting the printer to this point. If you're thinking about picking up a Moai, I do have a an affiliate link down in the description to Matter Hackers if you'd like to pick one up there, or you can pick one up directly from peopoly.net. So to this point, we have gotten the printer completely built, we've got it calibrated, and we have it leveled. Now it's time to fill it up with resin and get a test print out. So let's do it. Okay, now that we're ready to do our test print, we're going to head back over to the Peel Poly website, back to the calibration guide that we used in part eight of the series, and we're going to download the test file from there. So let's jump over to the computer and I will show you where to grab that. Okay, back over here in the calibration guide, we can scroll down to the point where we left off last week here as far as the test print. You're going to want to go ahead and download the test file and then copy that into the G-code folder on your SD card. I mentioned this in the last episode, but it is important that that G-code goes into a folder called G-code on your SD card and not into the root of the SD card itself. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now and I'll see you in front of the printer. Okay, when you bought your resin, it's going to come in typically two 500 milliliter bottles if you bought it from Peel Poly. So we're going to start by filling up the vat up to the overfill line. And you want to remember that this is UV sensitive resin, so you want to minimize its exposure to UV light. Because of that, I went ahead and tucked on the two side panels here, even though it's not yet called for. And I just tucked them on with two different screws. So we fill that up to the overflow line. And we're going to go ahead and take the uh, SD card, put it in there. We're gonna go to our G code folder we're going to pick our PM ringtest.g code and we're going to hit start that we want to confirm the print. Now hopefully in about 20 minutes here we will have a successful print of a ring. Members of the Senate and the House of Representatives. Yesterday, December 7, 1941, a date was chosen in infamy. Okay, looks like we can call that a win. We've got a really nice test print here. As you can see, it is back in the B quadrant of the build plate as shown in the calibration guide. 
So a couple things I do want to point out here is that while you're handling the resin or anything near the resin, you want to be wearing gloves. I've already wiped this down after pulling it out of the printer uh, so that it's safe for me to handle right now. Now it hasn't been cured yet and we will cover post-processing in part 10, the final version of the Moai series. I also want to point out that while I was filming the time lapse with the laser running and the door open, if you're doing that, you want to make sure that you don't have a lot of UV light around you that's going to pre-cure the resin. And you want to make sure that you wear your green safety glasses while exposed to the laser with the doors open. So with that, we'll conclude part nine. And with part 10, we will talk about post-processing briefly. I'll point you to more documentation online as well. And we'll talk about basic maintenance and cleanup of the Moai as well. So if you like what we're doing here at Practical Printing, please be sure to subscribe down below. Ring the bell if you'd like to be notified of future videos. And with that, I will leave you for today. Aloha.